Holy supporting arms, Batman. Hello there and welcome back to Building the Boys. We now have issue 16 of Hashett's Build the Batmobile Tumblr. Um, in this one, as has been the theme of this, this uh, delivery, not loads to do. We are continuing with the heads up display. Uh, we are adding the support arms to the HUD uh that's gonna pretty much complete it i don't know where this is when this is gonna screw into the, the the cockpit if it's gonna i don't know don't know couldn't tell you um i can tell you because i know you can be chomped at the bit what comes next what comes next what comes next well i can tell you what comes next what comes next is a display panel so that is issue 17. Uh, now, if you are a monthly subscriber to this, not monthly, if you're a subscriber to this, um, just to clear up some confusion, a lot of you thought your issue shipped on the 19th of May. They didn't. Sorry, on the 5th of May, they didn't. They shipped on the 19th. Because I believe what's going on is Hashet's website, I think, is set up to just trigger four weeks on. So once they dispatch something, it automatically jumps forward four weeks and tells you what your next dispatch date is. It's not been set up to cover the six-week delivery window. So whatever yours is currently saying, which I think is currently saying uh, the 9th of June, add two weeks to that immediately. So these are not going to ship. Our next ones are not going to ship until around about the 29th of June. That's when that's going to happen. So we'll receive them first week of July. So there'll be no Tumblr delivers in June. Do not let that website fool you. They just haven't got it set up properly yet. I'm sure they will. But don't don't think, oh, well, mine shipped the second week of June. They're not going to. It's six weeks from now, which is going to be first week of July. So first week of July, you will get your next six parts, and that will take us up to, I want to say, 22. Um, so we will uh, we'll be getting into it. And who knows what's coming? I don't know. I can't tell you. All I can tell you is I know that in 17, we get the display panel. What that display panel is for, I don't know. I assume it is for the heads-up display, I think. Don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Um, but let's get this built, and then we'll have a final chat at the end about Batman 89 to close out this uh, this delivery. Let's get into it. Okay, so we will be using our heads-up display, but not yet. So this is what we get inside this one. Uh, there we go. Uh, I am pleased they came in a box this month, uh, so we didn't have them looking as if they'd been loaded with a cannon. It's all very nice stuff. Again, this is all plastic. We've got some CP screws, and we've got some DP screws. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this one here. Now this is 16B, and we're going to take the matching part, which is 16A. That's this part here. So this is how you're looking. Kind of looks like a stocking, right? And what we're going to do, again, this is push to fit. So we are going to flip these ones over. There's no need for glue. I'm going to apply adequate pressure, push that down, get that nice and secure and firm in there. And that's how our arm is currently looking. Now we're going to bring over our heads up display. And we're going to attach this to it. So this way around, this one is going to sit on there like so. And we are going to hold this in place with a CP screw. Let's get the CP screws ready. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> Honestly, this could go in the roof, could go in the floor. I have no idea. Um, so a single CP screw just in here. Let's get that one screwed in. Is that one in? And that's how we're looking. Uh, so now we are going to we're going to install this piece. Now this came with uh, issue 14, 15. Uh, so this is going to slide into this part here. We go this way around. So that's going to go in there like so. Leave that there for now. I don't know how that's ever going to hold, but that's how they're telling us to put that in. How's that? I see. Okay. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Well, that's never going to hold. Yeah, it slips into the arm. So that's where that's going to go. So that holds into the, there's a, a hole here and that locks in there like so. That makes sense. So that's going to hold that in. Aha, that's why that's loose. That's why that's loose and wobbly. We couldn't figure that out in the last one. Now we know. 
Uh, okay, so that's that part done. Next we're going to do is we're going to repeat the process we did with the first one with the next support arm. So let's go into slot in there like so, line these up. Oop, there we go. Push those down, skill those in place. And now we're gonna lock all this in. So this is gonna sit over there like so. And we're gonna grab that arm as well. So that goes in like that. Now a single CP screw is gonna hold that in place. So we're gonna put a single CP screw in this top part here. Okay, so that's how we're now looking there. Now, mm, I've jumped the gun, but I don't think I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, I've jumped the gun a little. This should have gone in first. Yep, bugger that up. Let's try again. There we go. Just had to loosen the screw there to get that in. But that's where this piece goes. So that leaves us these two holes here and here, which we're now going to secure this part in place with DP screws. So let's get the DP screws out. And these are the kind of uh, the flat headed screws. Uh, we're going to pop one in each side. And then this one is in the books. All right, so. And snug. There we go. Put that one in. And because this is plastic, again, there's no need for the three and one here. Uh, they are snug, but they're cutting their own thread. So um, it's uh, once they start going, they they start going. There's a bit of a bit of pressure to begin with. It's that one. Just tighten this one up. That's it. So this is now how our heads up display is looking. Um, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know where this goes. I have no idea where in the vehicle this goes or how this goes. Um, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I mean, we've got this piece here we're not using yet, which that's where that's going to go, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where this goes. I can't, I can't tell you. Um, but that is the heads up display complete. And that is the end of delivery for, uh, for this month. Um, it's looking good. It's looking nice. I mean, again, this is going to, it's the detail in this thing, man. It's going to look awesome. I'm loving this silver and the black. I think it looks great. Looking forward to see where we go with this. All right. Let's have a chat. So that's it. That's our heads up display built. Now I went looking for pictures. I did find one. This sits in front of the, I'd say steering wheel. It doesn't look like a steering wheel. This sits in front of the controls. So this will attach to the dashboard floor. So it looks like that's certainly what we're doing. We're building more um, cockpit, definitely. Uh, I can see by this keyway here, it would suggest to me the control panel we're building next is going to attach to that. So that's where we are. Um, and I can't wait. I look, and now again, I want more stuff. Yeah, I know, but we have to build these things. We have to, at some point, we've got to build seats. At some point, we've got, you just do. This is this is the beast. This is the nature of it. It's not all hulking great lumps because <coughs> if it was, you'd do all that and be bored doing the little bits after. Let it grow, man. Let it evolve naturally. And that's where we are. Now, you're not going to get any more Tumblr until July, right? Unless you're buying it through the stores. So basically what's going to happen is uh, the people that are buying it in news agents, so I think we're on 13 now, so they're going to move up to where we are, and then they're going to go three past us, and then we're going to get ours, and we'll go three past them, and then they'll catch up and go three past us. That's how that works. So that's that's the way it is. So regardless of what it says on Hashette's website, you're not getting these in June. These are going to turn up first week of July. That's when you're going to get them. Um, and the journey will continue. And now it's six at a time now, so it's every six every six weeks. That's where we are. So six weeks from now, another six, we'll be up to 22 and we'll be flying through this one. We'll be almost 20% done at that point, can you believe it? Um, but 
if you're just sticking around for the building church, thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Helps us massive. We have loads coming up on the channel. Watch this. We also have Infinity Gauntlet. We've got Titanic. We've got Disney Doll's House. Uh, we've got Roker and Row Life Builds. We've got another book nook coming up. Bunch of other stuff as well. Um, so swing by and check it out. I'm sure you'll find something you like. We love hearing from you. We love seeing your work as well. So if you've got work you'd like us to see that you wouldn't mind us featuring on the channel, please uh, email us at buildwiththeboysoutlook.com. Um, we will get back to you. If you do send us pictures or videos, please, uh, can you write in that you can send to share? If you want them shared, if you don't want them shared, you want to say, hey, check this out, what do you think of it? I'm happy to do that as well. Um, so don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. We're very friendly. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. We're we'll sticking around for our chat. This is on my final 89 Batman chat, and this is loosely based on the film. So this is an experience that I had when I was, when I was a kid. So... I was 10 years old when Batman came out. I was in my last year of junior school at the time. And me and my buddy, uh, Andrew, were going to a school disco. Um, and we, um, we at different times, we were 10, but we walk. We walked to the school on our own. It was like, I think it was like half past five until half past seven or something like that. And we walk at different times. Um, but we were walking to the, to the disco. We were both wearing, I remember this. Batman stuff, right? So we're obsessed with the Batman. So we're wearing the Batman, you know, this is our best clothes. We're in our, our Batman t-shirts, you know, we're, we're look out ladies. <laughs> um, but we were walking and ahead of us was a man walking his dog. And he stopped and started looking up at the sky. And it was unusual. It was very strange. So me and Andy sort of stopped. And we're like, I don't know what's happening here. And the guy started shaking. And we thought he was drunk um, and he fell backwards and his head hit the floor and we sort of looked at each other and didn't really know what to do. We were 10 um, babies. And um, when he, his head went up, blood just poured out of it, absolutely poured out of it everywhere. And um, it scared the hell out of us. I've never been so scared in my life that I was at that moment. At 10 years old, that absolutely terrified me. I didn't know what to do. So um, we ran like Batman would to get help. And there was a phone box just around the corner and we uh, we phoned 999 and again, different times. The woman just would not believe us. I was absolutely begging, please send an ambulance. And she just, just wouldn't believe us um, and said, if you're, and I said, I'm not, I swear to you. And I gave my name and the school I went to. Um, and I said, I, I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. And um, it turns out that the, the gentleman in question had had um, an epileptic fit, a seizure and had had gone down hard fallen landed i mean no attempt to stop himself happened at all it was just straight to the floor and um scared the hell out of us but we went and we, did, we didn't know at this point we went and got the dog and we were holding the, the dog's lead and we waited and the ambulance turned up and they they took him away and we, we went to the disco and we told our headmaster when we got there what had happened and he was a bit did it really boys and we're like yeah but no one, no one really believed us. I told my mum when we got home and she was kind of like, really? Because we were very, again, Batman, crime fighters, you know, it, but no one really believed us. But amazingly, the wife of the man um, managed to get our names from the, the 999 call that we made. And uh, because I'd given my school as well, the next thing I know is we got called to the office about two weeks later. And now typically when I got called to the office, it meant <laughs> I was taking a letter home and I was getting a beating. Um, but it wasn't, it was, it was his wife and she came and she shook her hands and she said, thank you. And she gave us, uh, she gave us each a Woolworths voucher. Um, and with my Woolworths voucher, I bought the Batman figure. I bought the 89 Batman figure. It was this one. It was amazing. He had like, you could pull his belt out and he would zip up to it. And it was I played with that so much. And again, at the time I was a poor kid, right? We we grew up, it was, times were tough. We were a single parent family and it wasn't like it is now, we had nothing. So me just randomly getting a Batman figure, I want to say that was £2.75. I'm pretty sure it was £2.75. Wasn't going to happen. I wasn't I wasn't going to give them the money to bought one. So amazingly, I, I managed to get a Batman figure and I was so happy. I played with the hell out of that. So that, that was the summer of Batman for me. And um, I'm pleased to tell you he made a full recovery as well. He was, um, uh, it, it was, it, but it was scary. I mean, at 10 years old, it, it absolutely terrified us. But, you know, um, we we got Batman figures. <laughs> so that was, that's, that's a true story. That's something I remember about Batman 89. Just a, a crazy summer, it really was. And 
I managed to get that uh, 89 figure and I, I played the hell out of it. I had no one for him to fight, so we'd be fighting random, you know, He-Man characters and things like that. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it was a hell of a figure. I wish I still had that. I don't. I really wish I still had that action figure and I don't, but I might have to try and track one down on eBay, I think. Anyway, that's all from me. Uh, if you would like to contact us again, you can contact buildingboysoutlet.com. We'd love to hear from you. We really would. Um, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. And uh, we will catch you in July for more Batmobile Tumblr. Remember, Gotham needs us.